Welcome to Blindfold Chess number 5. In this series, I play a blindfold chess game, which means that I won't be able to see any chess piece. I'll be staring at an empty chessboard. Your job as a viewer is to pause the video from time to time, follow the variations I'm talking about, and in that way we can all learn. Okay, we found a game, we're playing with the white pieces, good luck. We're gonna play e4. Okay, e6 played by my opponent, d4. Very likely we're gonna play a French. We have a French over the board. In this position with white, we can ma make many moves. We can play knight c3, we can play knight d2, we can play e5. I think I'm going to go for e5, the advanced variation of the French. c5, I'm going to play c3 to support my center. In this way, I can keep a space advantage. But I have to be careful because black's whole point with the French is to make the most of this tension with the c5 pawn. Well, that's one of the main points. At some point also black wants to prove that the space advantage is more of an overextension disadvantage and play f6 and try to make weaknesses, create weaknesses. So knight c6 played. Already here I want to visualize again. So e4, e6, d4, d5, e5, c5, c3, knight c6. I'm going to play knight f3. This is natural main theory, bishop d7. And in this position I can play bishop d3. I can play bishop e2. I can play knight a3. There are many ways of playing this. I'm going to go for bishop d3. Here is a David after queen b6. You have a lot of pressure on d4. And I am aware of that. But it's nothing, it's nothing to worry about. So c takes d4, c takes d4, queen b6 I'm expecting. Yeah. And in this position I'm going to castle short sign. You're, you're going to say, David, why are you doing that? Do you not realize that knight takes d4 is actually winning a pawn? Well, the point of this is that... After knight c3, let's say, which is what I just played. I'm sacrificing a pawn for the sake of just developing pieces. And in this kind of the well, theoretical lines, I do have a space advantage. I have a, an advanced pawn on e5. And I already castled. Black is two moves away from castling. Three moves away, you can argue, castling. Because of the bishop, the knight, and then the actual move that castles. So I'm going to create th threats and I'm going to try to make the most of my opponent's weaknesses. The biggest one being uh, development and pro possibly king safety. And in that way, I think I can compensate for the lack of material. So I can compensate for the pawn that I just lost. That being said, you're going to say, David, normally there's a trick with knight takes d4 in this French uh, openings, but knight takes d4, queen takes d4. The point of, one of the points of bishop d7 is that bishop b5 check is no longer check. So it's not check. Bishop b5 would win uh, the queen if it was check, but because it's not check. It's not winning the queen. So bishop c5 was played by my opponent. Interesting. It weakens the g7 pawn, which very often gets attacked with queen g4. For instance, queen g4 now it's not possible because uh, there's a knight. But let's say, for example, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, queen g4. I would be attacking the g7 pawn. Unfortunately for me, uh, bishop takes e5. Black gets another pawn and at the same time defends on g7. So I don't know if I want to do that. If anything, if anything, I think I don't want to do that. I'm going to think. I'm going to have a little bit of a think here. If I go knight a4, trying to claim that, well, if, if bishop takes a4, queen takes a4, check. I get the bishop pair. Maybe that's good. Then I suspect that knight a4 is going to be met by knight takes f3, check first. And if I take with the queen, I lose the, bishop, the, the knight on a4. And if I take with the pawn, that's damaging my pawn structure. And that's not good. So already here, I have to really be careful with, with what, I, what I'm doing. Bishop f4 is a candidate move. Um, but other than that, if I'm completely honest, it's a little bit difficult to make a move here. Maybe I'm already worse somehow. Maybe this, this I confused lines. No, I think it should be fine. I just have to find a way to, to get my queen to g4. Or something like that. Something similar. Bishop b3, for instance, came to my mind, but... I don't think it's, I don't think it's working. Knight takes knight takes f3 and d4 is already winning material. I think. Hmm. Knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, queen g4, bishop takes e5. There's also knight b5 in that position, but bishop takes e5 either way. There's knight g5. Actually, knight g5 is interesting. If h6, knight takes f7 check. Or is that too crazy? 
Knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, queen g4. That's just attacking g7. I don't think it's such a big deal. What if b4? Is that crazy? What if a3? Many options. I think I'll go for a3. Although there is a knight on d4, so knight b3 is a problem. Hmm. Kind of stuck here. Okay, what about knight a4, knight takes f3, g takes f3? Is that, is that that bad? Because after bishop takes f4, queen takes f4, check, let's say knight c6. I could play something like queen g4 followed by f4. I'm gonna make a king h1. That way, after knight a4, knight takes f3 is not check. So I get the bishop pair. And if knight takes f3, queen takes f3. I could even make a case for g takes f3, but I think, yeah, it's, it looks horrible. So queen takes f3. g takes f3 with the idea of rook g1 is maybe, maybe something, but yeah, I don't believe in that. I have an knight on c3, I have a bishop on d3, and knight on f3. Bishop on c1, a2, black has a knight on b8, bishop on d7, knight on d4, and bishop on c5. So we have, the, the way I like thinking of these positions when I'm playing blindfolded is by structure. So once I know the structure, the rest is just minor pieces and queens and rooks. And usually you know where your queens and rooks are. It's, it's just the problem with bishops and minor pieces. Most of the time when I'm playing blindfolded, the tough part of the game is the opening because there's so many pieces that you have to remember. But I think we're slowly but surely finishing this, this stage of the game. 97 was played. The black is ready to castle short side, but I think it's... I mean, castling short side is definitely dangerous. So I think black is going to th either play knight f5 or knight g6 first, or just castle queen side, which is pretty crazy. I don't think black is going to play that. I can play knight g5. The other advantage of king h1 is that after this knight on d4 moves, let's say knight f5, I can play f4. And before I couldn't have done that because it was pinned. So I have to make a move quickly. Knight a4 is another option. Gets me the bishop here, as I said. I can play knight takes d4. Bishop takes d4, f4. But I... I don't know. h4 is another option. I'm going to go for h4, actually. Very typical move in this position. So I have 19 seconds, which is bad news. You don't want 19 seconds with so many pieces over the board while playing blindfolded. So give me, give me a second. Bear with me. Let's see if I can survive this. 9g6, h5... Is that working? I don't think so. Knight takes f3 is annoying. Well, h6 was played either way. I'm gonna play h5. Rook c8. Okay, so black is saying I'm not gonna castle short. The queen side, sorry. Okay, what about knight a4? Feel the need to play knight a4. Bishop takes a4, queen takes a4, check. Queen c6. Queen d1. Knight c6. Queen d1 either way. Trying to get knight takes d4. But knight takes f3 I blundered. Knight takes e5, queen g3. I have a knight on c3? No, I don't. Because I played knight e Yeah. So now I'm down two pawns. That's not good news. Possibly I'm going to be down three pawns. Nah, bishop, bishop takes f2, queen f3. Yeah, yeah. That should be wrong. So my opponent castled. Queen g3. So my opponent's bishop is on c5. 
There's some rook on c8. Yeah, this is very bad. Bishop d4. Rook a b1. Yeah, this is... This is not good news. Bishop d4, rook a d1. I'm gonna play. Bishop takes b2, bishop... Uh, sorry, rook b1. Queen d4, rook f d1. Bishop b5 is a threat. Rook takes b2 and bishop b5 is a threat. Rook c3. I don't know. Okay, bishop c1. Don't tell me bishop's, bishop b5 is working. Shouldn't work. Ooh, I have a good response against that. I think I have queen g6. F6 is a weird one, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Queen g6 either way. Bishop takes your 6 is an idea. That's the reason why f6 was a little bit risky. So, for example, rook fc8, bishop takes h6. What is my opponent going to play? What is the move for my opponent? Ah, that's a bad move. That's a horrible move as well. Wait, what? My king on h1? Oh, yeah. It is. But still, rook e8 is something to worry about, right? I thought my king was on g1. Okay. Queen f1, king h2, queen f4, king h1, queen b8. I know what my opponent. Queen h4, yeah, king g1, queen d4. King h1. And king f1 is also. Queen f6. Ah, queen takes f6. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I saved the game. Yeah. Let's take the draw. No, that was tough. That was difficult. Good game. Let's 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 do a little bit of a recap. So I I sacrificed the pawn at the beginning. It didn't go as well. Knight a4, I suspect I have to play something pretty accurate here, and by now I have already less than a minute, so yeah, I sacrificed another pawn unintentionally, also known as a blunder. And here I just kind of held on to this very little initiative I had. Because once this happens for black, I think black has to be pretty accurate. Queen d4 I thought was pretty intuitive. Or, or, or I mean, it looks like the only way to get out. Ah, no, sorry, queen d4, rook takes b2. What am I talking about? And then there's bishop b5. Maybe this is a mistake. f6 is definitely not the best, and I think... Um, now I have some chances. I should have played bishop takes h6 first. Um, threatening to move the bishop away. But I think, okay, maybe this is not that bad. Uh, I forgot, I thought that my king was on g1, so this was kind of a blunder. And then after this, my opponent allowed this, which was good. Uh, maybe there's a way to prevent that. Maybe you can play, I don't know, queen h4, queen d8. Um, and you're winning, but I'm not sure. I think it's already a difficult position for, for black, so in time trouble, it's difficult. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, any suggestions, if you think I messed up in some variations, please let me know in the comments. And as always, have a nice day.